Trying to hard code my website to look good on mobile is so complicated. If only there was like, I don't know, a visual way to do it instead. Well, today we're going to do just that through this one easy to use plugin. No coding necessary, which I'll show you in today's tutorial. That's right. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this easy to use plugin so that you can make your WordPress website look way better on mobile. One unfortunate thing to know is that you do need to purchase this from Envato Market, more specifically CodeCanyon.net, and you can find it just by searching, just by searching yellow pencil, and it should be the only one that you find. Click it, add to cart, or buy now, and you'll need to create an account on Envato Market, obviously. I have already done both of those. Let's head on over to the back side of WordPress. Now, one thing you'll need to do is come over to your yellow pencil settings, and you'll probably need to go into your product license, and there should be a box somewhere to be able to put in your purchase code from Envato Market. You'll put it in and hit submit. Mine has gone away, so I can't exactly show you. But let's get right into the plugin. So I'm going to come over to my pages, and I actually want to pick my front page, which is this one. And I'm just going to click edit. And then from here, I can just click the little yellow paintbrush at the top. Then a new tab will open. Then with this tool selected, the flexible inspector or the single inspector, but this one's just fine. Then come down and click responsive mode. Then we can adjust the width of our screen. Then in our little hover window, we can select single customization if we want this customization to show up on just this page we can do a template customization so anything that's like this type of page the changes will be applied or a global customization which is literally every page on your site so first let's select the thing that we want to adjust so i want to adjust this title because things are going to go wrong once i squish it so i'm going to select anywhere within my header then i'm going to come over to text and i'm just going to start dragging this in to the left and it should change because I've already done this but if you start sliding and see that there's a point where it's overlapping in not a good way so roughly right there you can see that I have dragged it from size 53 to a bigger font so that it goes onto two lines and then up here you'll see that there is a very thin divide between 1280 and 1258 right there. And you kind of see the same pattern between 1200 and 1258. And then I've done this all the way through my site. So I drag it and then you see that it's changed a little bit, drag it some more, changed again, drag change, and then there it changes again to a smaller menu. Now there's a little bit of a problem I could go in and change that and I can even change the position to be lower ditto for right there change the text size position lower as you can see it's really easy to use and then once you get down to what is basically would be your mobile site then here is definitely where you want to be changing your font sizes and positioning so it looks nice because people will complain if you don't have a good mobile site is your site in general should look good on desktop and mobile but i was able to adjust all my font sizes and such all through this one editor and i did zero css coding myself so text isn't the only thing that you can do there's obviously you can change the background change margins and other things and you can do it to multiple items in your website you can do it to your logo to your menu and to different objects so if they don't move quite right you can make them look good which is what i'm going to have to do and as easy as it is the only pain in the butt part about this particular plugin is that then you have to go into each individual page and make the adjustments yourself then make sure once you've made all your changes make sure you come up to your floating panel and hit save then once it says saved you're good so like I said in a previous video my website is launched it's not quite perfect I'm still kind of working on it but the gist of it is there and I'm still fine-tuning it so that does it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video you can give it a big thumbs up you can click right up here to subscribe to this channel and click down below to see my previous video and as always I'll see you in the next tutorial